How's it going, YouTube? Um, so it's today, Monday afternoon. Um, and I'm just out here. I'm going to be smoking on my weekly smoke. And I'm smoking some Granger. A little bit of story on this. But anyway, let me get lit up first, and then we'll get started. So, try it like that. And then I'm smoking an old K-Way that I found at an estate sale. It is, um, I think it's a shape number 11. Yep, number 11, it's one of the carburetor ones. I don't know if you guys have seen those. It's got the hole on the bottom. Basically what the theory is, is that hole in the bottom draws in air and it's a, it's a cooler smoke, so. So, I had good luck with it so far. It's a good smoking pipe. Anyway, let's get started. So, I went to my um, the smoke shop. It's not really a tobacconist, but uh, they carry all of the um, OTCs, pretty much almost every one except for uh, Lane, uh, Lane Limited, Ready Rubbed. So, which I wish they carried, but they don't. Anyway, so I asked him if he could try and find this for me. He did. I wasn't really going to buy a tin online, but if, if somebody had it in the store, I was probably going to get it. So, anyway, so 26 bucks or something like that. So, not much different than online, which you consider shipping and all that. Anyway, so I smoked it a few times now. I was going to keep some going on, are Anyway. And um, what I noticed was it's a lot like all the other Lane limited uh, Burley tobaccos. It's a uh, rough cut, straight Burley. Definitely has a different note uh, um, than the other Lane limited Burleys and the Scandinavian Burleys. Sweet. I don't know how to even describe it, honestly. I don't know if you guys have had those. These, um, they're, uh, they're like the dark chocolate blueberry, um, Akaya. I think they're Akaya, um, balls or whatever. I don't know. But, um, kind of smells like blueberry chocolate, like, note. I don't know if that's what everybody else is getting, but that's what I'm getting out of it. Um, Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it. I don't know if you guys get that out of it, but that lighter doesn't want to work. It's down here in my apartment complex, so I'm like getting noisy. But um, anyway, so. It's, it's a lot like every other Burley you've probably had, especially from Scandinavian Tobacco Group and Lane Limited. Um, it doesn't bite you too bad, or at all, really. Um, I can see how it might be able to bite you if you really puff on it. It's definitely, um, if I were to compare it to any of the OTCs I've had, probably... Probably closest to um, Showalter. It's um doesn't have much sweetness to it. I mean, it's got that normal cocoa 
taste that you get from, from Burley's and Nutty taste. Um, so the chocolate notes come in, um, but it's a, if I were to, it's probably a creamy smoke is how I put it. It's um, not necessarily sweet, but creamy. It's smooth. It's yeah. Maybe like a mix between Carter Hall and Sir Walter. I'd say probably that's the best way to put it. Um, and I also describe it as like a more beefy, meatier, um, burly smoke, I'd say. So, if I was looking for, for that, which I am in the mood for that sometimes, it's a real hearty smoke. Um, yeah, it's it's cool, it's mild, but um, it's hearty. If that makes sense. Um, like I said, it might buy you, but um, definitely not like disappointed with the purchase. It's not a bad tobacco, but what I have noticed is um, it's something I like about Nine Limited and Scandinavian Tobacco Group is the quality of barley they use. Um, it's, um, it's good burly. It's, uh, yeah, it's not like, I feel like sometimes the, um, John Middleton burly kind of looks cheap. I don't know if that's just because it cut or whatever it is. Not cheap, it just doesn't look that great. But, so I feel more comfortable buying from Scandinavian and Lane just because they mostly make pipe tobaccos. And um, John Milton, I think, makes some cig cigars or um, cigarettes, if I'm not mistaken. I just don't like the idea of a bunch of chemicals being put on my tobacco. I'm sure they do put something on here. I've heard the PGs or whatever they're called. But other than that, um, another reason why I got this is kind of a stupid reason. Obviously, the nostalgia of the OTCs is really big deal for me why I'm smoking out of K. Woody, but. The dog on the on the front there. I'm a big dog person. Um, love dogs. So I'm the German short hair out there. I'm into hunting dogs. I have a lab myself. She's right here actually. Yeah. She doesn't want to jump up. I'll show you. Here she is. So my chocolate lab. She's about um, year year and a few months. So she's still pop. Still running around. Got way too much energy but anyway yeah so the nostalgia and I just like and you know it's not a bad tobacco it'd be good for blending too if you want to be a good tobacco to blend in case you have a blend you don't like or something or want to mellow it out on that I think I'm going to talk a little about this Kiwi Give you a better look at it. That's going to, I think it's called a flame green. It's got some bird's eye on the other side. It's in really good shape. Um, I don't know what year it is exactly. I want to say it's maybe the 60s. I'm not sure. Some UK Woody guys probably know better than me, but it's the, the drink list, I think it's called. Which I, some people have said they've had problems with that, but I haven't been having problems at all, so. But anyway, I like the size of it. It's not not too big. It's just perfect. Got a fairly thick wall. It doesn't get too hot. But anyway, what I what is interesting about this pipe, like I was saying earlier, this carburetor, and um, I do find it, it does make a smoke a lot cooler. Um, I smoke some other another blend out of it that tends to smoke hot for me and helps a little bit. So. I would not be too mad if they brought that back. What else is there? That's pretty much all I got for you guys. Video's getting long anyway.
keep on smoking guys i'll talk to you later